Hey, we're back with a video on a MPP 2.0 Darth Vader uh, Teensy Saber that I built for Ronnie. This guy took quite some time. Uh, it's got Corban's hilt uh, done in the A and H fashion, but with liars, just because you know they're removable. Literally just pop them out. Nothing to it. But they look great, so I know it's not exactly film accurate to have the wires in there with these grips, but it looks awesome. Let's go work on working clamp, pops open, and allows you to take the hilt down. Bubble strip. And these wires are uh, 18 gauge solid wire, copper wire, um, thermostat wires. That's that's what I used. The size was good and uh, the color's good and they're like rock solid. You can't bend these things unless you've got pliers. So you don't have to worry about them bending or getting all beat up or whatever. Uh, so without further ado, let's take a look. Access the Kel key down here, at least that's one way. I did a handmade metal kill key for this guy. It's got a red cycle of NeoPixels down at the bottom. And when you fire it up, You notice that that cycle speeds up and gets brighter. And then slows down when you turn it off. And thank you, Frederick, for all your help with that. On the other end, got a NeoPixel blade plug in there. That is a custom Saber Shop blade plug with a length of blade and NeoPixels inside. the goodies inside. You undo the clamp and then just unscrew the base. Slide her off. This is a goth master chassis. Gold crystal chambers, dual quartz crystals, and accent neopixels. We've got two red cycles. One is in here, runs around the inside, and then one is down here. Kind of hard to see, but there's also a lot of metal details installed behind all the venting. But when you fire it up, you see the red cycle speed up, basically spin up to uh, power the saber, so to speak. Got the uh, dual crystals that mimic whatever the blade is doing. Now check the two NeoPixel cycles here when we turn it on. They both spin up to power the crystals to power the saber, in theory. And again, thank you, Frederick, for all your help with that. The teensy saber that runs this guy is hidden under this cover. That's your USB access port. There's a little hole right here so you can get to the reset button. 
and the SD card is underneath here you'd have to pull this cover off it just clips onto two metal bars that are here um, and then this cover removes